Okay guys, what is going on here? We are here for the Sunday watch list. So with that being said, let's go on ahead and jump right into these charts. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I'm always I'm putting out at least one video a week, giving you guys absolutely free content that's gonna help you guys, whether it's long term, short term, just in finance and, and everything like that. So with that being said, let's jump back to the video. So with everything being going on right now in this world, I kind of want to talk about just a few things and what's coming up this week. One thing that I think we should all be looking for that doesn't include anything to do about these charts is actually the stimulus battle that has been going on in Washington. I mean, we got Trump and everybody else going crazy about, you know, when should we be pushing another stimulus bill and all. And all of that. Again, I'm not going to get into too much detail about that because it's not something that I'm going to focus on a lot, but it is something that is still going to affect the market if we get another stimulus bill and so on and so on. Um, just things that I would definitely be looking at. The other thing is, is Tesla. Tesla, Intel, and Microsoft. So over here, we got Microsoft already up. AT&T is going to have earnings. This basically is just playing into the whole earnings and what's going on. Um, other earnings, you're going to have Snap, you're going to have UAL, we got Verizon, we do have T over here. Um, AT&T is a big one other than Tesla, and I'm going to pull Tesla up over here. Oh, TSLA. Um, they do have earnings. Um, we all know we saw Netflix guys get burnt on this one on this, one this past week. So that's one of those things that you guys should definitely be watching out for earnings. I do not play these plays, just so you guys all know. Everybody thinks that I am jumping on every earnings play. I am not. If you guys look at this, here on Netflix, Netflix missed earnings, and from that it just went down. That's not good. Um, again, though, they did miss earnings, so that is expected for it to fall, but everybody was basically betting that they were going to hit earnings because of the quarantine and everybody been watching Netflix. Um, earnings can be a very tricky game. Earnings is also gambling, if you ask me, unless you have a strategy that's going to allow you to play both sides, which there are those out there, and I teach that in one of my videos um, about how to do spreads. And I also teach you guys how to do that live when I'm trading Monday through Friday with my students live. Um, but AT&T is one of the big ones because it's a huge dividend yield. I, you guys know I own a bunch of AT&T. Um, I don't own as much as I used to because I sold off a bunch of it and I've been buying it back here slowly. One of those things that I will be looking for here this week, if they do have good earnings, I will probably start buying more back in because I do have money set aside still to buy AT&T. Why do I buy AT&T? Well, not only is it a cheaper stock, so it's about around 30 bucks. You guys can see it's trading here at 30 bucks, hit a low at $30.00. 18 cents which is a decent price target for it it's not the best but it is decent but at the same time it yields 6.9 percent i think it's actually 6.95 percent per year on a dividend and if you guys put that in a drip account like i have my retirement accounts those excuse me those dividends just keep rolling over and that will make a huge difference believe it or not um and that's going to add another source of income eventually for you if you quit the drip and you just allow it to keep making you money that's kind of what my retirement plan is set up to do Microsoft. Microsoft is known for having very, very good earnings. Um, again, with the Netflix kind of situation, everything has been wacky when it comes down to the coronavirus stuff. I'm not expecting anything to hit on earnings. Amazon is coming up on earnings as well. And Amazon and Tesla are two huge players that are going to be coming for earnings. And I don't exactly... I'm not playing either one of these guys. These are both huge movers. Microsoft's have a good stock too, but Tesla and Amazon are both really, really big movers, and I don't think it's really worth the risk in order to be able to play them. Now, and jobs claim, guys, um, a lot of people are looking at this for this next week. I don't necessarily think the jobs claim is as big as what people have been making it out to be. The jobs claim on Thursdays, it comes out Thursday mornings, just so everybody knows, um, it hasn't really been affecting it near as much as what it used to do. You used to be able to set up every Thursday morning and know exactly exactly kind of where we're going in the morning lately that hasn't really been the case you guys can go back and look for yourselves here for the past few weeks um, EU recovery fund hangs in the balance so there are some recovery funds that people are trying to figure out where they're really going that's a lot of European stuff there's also a eurozone UK PMIs um, I'm not going to go into any of that because that's really not stuff that's going to affect our market tremendously I mean it could but I don't see it doing it but those are the things that we are looking at this week Earnings are going to be a big, big thing again this week. So I stress that enough. I don't suggest you guys to play them. Again, I am not swing trading any of these plays whatsoever. I am going to go in and I'm going to day trade like I have been. 
and still make my money and then get out and run with it based off of still the earnings are still there. But again, I'm not playing it until the market opens and the earnings are already there. I'm not holding any of these overnight into earnings calls. So just so you guys know, I want to make that very, very clear. I hope this helps some of you guys here this weekend. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will answer absolutely every single comment. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys live.